Hi guys, today I'm going to review about the MCX Furthest AEG licensed by Six Hour and manufactured by VFC. The goal of this review is to find out if this airsoft is worth it or not. This video has six sections. The unboxing, the external view, internal discussion, chrono, gameplay, and the conclusion. Before that, the price of this airsoft is about $440, and when it arrived in my country, it became 14 million Indonesian rupiahs or 970 US dollars because of the shipping, shops profit, and an illegal tax regulation. All imported airsofts are now extremely expensive in my country. Well, we don't have a choice for that. Just before I start, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and give a like to this video. It helps a lot. First is the unboxing part. This is the packaging, which I think it looks very standard. Inside you'll find the airsoft itself. Here you'll find the manual, magazine, BB loader, and M100 spring. And that's all inside the package. There's no iron sight or M lock rail panel. And now I'm going to give a review on the external of this airsoft. Starting from the metal flash hider, uh, it is very difficult to remove. And next to the handguard, it is solid. It has uh, M lock slots on 3, 6, and 9. Meanwhile, there's a Picatinny rail section on top. Uh, I found that other MCX has a wobble issue on the handguard. So if you want to buy this MCX, you need to pay attention to a small detail like that. And next to the receiver, there are some markings on this airsoft which is great. And there is a slight movement between the upper and the lower receiver, a very tiny one. Well, you need to consider that also before buying this gun. And next I'm going to go to the uh, Mac release. It is MB. Uh, it's available on both sides, left and right. The next is the charging handle. It is also MB. The charging panel, you get the access to the rotary style chamber, and it has a functional bolt catch. But to be honest, it is very stiff. And also, the selector is MB, but uh, they are wobble. The handguard is just like the 416. Uh, the trigger is very standard. Uh, the next is the stock, you can adjust the length. And you got some sling mounts on the stock. And also right here. Mm, the next thing is that you can remove this stock in order to change the spring. It is a QD system. You don't have to take out the gearbox from the lower receiver which is a very good uh, thing to have in your airsoft. And now I'll show you how to gain access to the battery compartment. You don't need uh, any kind of tool in order to access to your battery compartment. You need to pull this pin on the other side. Before you pull the pin like this, you can uh, pull the handguard. Here you can find a mini Tamiya connector and also of use. It is better to have a tip lock in airsoft nowadays. You can uh, put this kind of battery but it's not easy to make it fit. Uh, for me, uh, it took a couple of time in order to put the battery in the right position. And also this is a mini Tamiya connector. Uh, basically, you, you need to put the battery like this. Basically, you can put the battery like this and close uh, the handguard, but you need to pay attention to the wiring because sometimes it hit the wiring. That's another thing that you need to consider before buying this airsoft. 
and as you can see there are many holes around uh, the handguard so you, you need to make sure that BBs won't hit your battery there is another alternative uh, for example like using a back box uh, in your handguard but you need to buy the M-Lock uh, rail first next I'm going to talk about the internals it has VFC Avalon version 2 gearbox the gearbox is not reduced it has inline MOSFET the spring is quick detached with M120 spring. It has a rotary style chamber with a 295mm inner barrel. I think for the gearbox, you might want to do a reshiming and reduce it. The next is the chrono test. More or less, this airsoft shoots at about 400 feet per second. Yeah, maybe uh, slightly higher than that number. RPS is 21 with 11.1 LiPo battery, which is good. For the gameplay, I played with this airsoft and it is very comfortable because it is compact. As a conclusion, I would recommend this airsoft for uh, anyone who looks for the MCX impression, it is great, but if you're looking for a better performance airsoft with less pending, I think it's better for you to build your own airsoft, it is uh, more cheaper than uh, buying this gun. Also uh, if you're looking for a 100% solid gun, maybe this is not your choice because there are some mobile on some parts, uh, maybe you should look for another brand. But for me, I do enjoy playing with this gun, it is nice, it is compact. And also, uh, the performance is good, even though it's not that great. And I think that's all for today's video. If you have any question or opinion, you can put it down in the comment sections. And thanks for watching.